and welcome back to my channel. Today we are on day seven of this bathroom makeover. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, please go back and have a look and see how I have progressed during this decorating process. So today my mission is, I'm bearing objects here, um, my mission is to take off the door of the bathroom take it into the garage and strip the paint off the door. Now we have painted all of our doors in the house and we've just painted them a grey wood paint that I bought from B&Q. Um, I think I did this like three years ago or something. Anyway, all of the doors have been absolutely fine. I didn't even prime them or sand them or anything and they have been absolutely fine. Apart from the bathroom door, that seems to maybe we think thinking maybe it's just the most used door that's kind of just had wear and tear on it. Anyway, I feel like I want to do that door all over again because I'm decorating the bathroom. So I'm going to actually sand the door and really, really prep it well. And I'm going to use primer that I bought to prime the surface as well before I paint it with the same color as I've used on the other doors. And hopefully that'll just give it a little bit more endurance to make sure that that door doesn't chip because I don't know why it has. <laughs> I've not bought a new handle yet. I don't know if I will. I'm just gonna clean that up and clean the hinges up and things as well. I do have some replacement hinges that I may install if I can figure out how to do it. If not, I'll just clean the old ones. I'm gonna get on with that now. Don't wish me luck. <laughs> I painted it so hard. So hard. <laughs> so hard. So hard. it so hard. But it's so hard. Oh, Jim, I don't know where the bigger version of that is. We've lost them. You've I don't know. We have over time. You, I don't know why it would just be me. Because you're the one that uses them and I always you try and make too. sure to put them I back. used to try too. Yeah, you used to, but then you gave yeah, up. <laughs> <laughs> right, get ready to hold the door. I'm holding it. Yeah, then for it. Get ready to take. It's all your forks. One more screw. All my forks? Yeah, one more screw. Ah, I've got dust in my eye. <laughs> I said get ready to use all your forks, not run away. Oh, you blinded me. Right, it's coming off. It's off. It's coming off. There it is. We have a door. Right, let's walk off with the door. Off we go. Yeah, we go. Off we go. Oh no, it's door sized. Huh? <laughs> I'll just have to go through it so it's sideways. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You actually find that to go through? Guys. Yeah, do it. Stand. Why would the door go through? What do we have to do? Oh yeah, I've got <laughs> Nice open plan! That's what I want. That was nice that, Jim. It feels so much more spacious. Yeah. Oh my god, it actually does. Because when you come in the bathroom normally, there's a door here that usually just gets in the way. A big dark grey door now. Now yeah, it's open it's plan. Door. Can we get like a sliding door? Yeah. That's a bit old question that, isn't it? I don't know though, you know, a nice sliding door. What are you up to now? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll go help. So you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Another cipher to break While the grass grows underneath my feet Bring you down. 
What a terrible thing to say not look good does it is that just me or does that like not look like a working door handle bear in mind these were probably put on in the 80s so yeah I've got a feeling we're gonna have to live without a door handle on the bathroom door So that is the first coat of primer done. I can't decide actually whether to do two coats or one coat, but we'll let that side dry. It takes two hours and then I shall flip it over and do the other side. Then obviously wait two hours and then either give it a second coat or I may start the process of putting on the paint. So you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Another cipher to break While the grass grows underneath my feet I've decided to paint most of the walls bar one I do have some gaps in the lining paper I've been advised to fill it with some filler I'm just a bit nervous about ruining the paper and making the surface even more um, uneven than it would be if I just painted it with the little gap so I'm going to go in there and just try just try it once see whether it works if it looks like it's gonna be a complete mess I'm just gonna abandon that and just paint it and we'll just have lines on the wall it'll be better than the mess that the walls were before we started this process I promise Do you know what? Okay, it's actually working. Okay, that actually seems to be working. Right, mission fill in the cracks. Let's do this. Fingers out of sight. Hello, 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 Leo. I was lost inside a maze of night. Hello, 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 Leo. I stayed up and watched you till the night. Hello, 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 Leo. Well that's all for today. I feel like I haven't done a lot 
but at least I've started on the door basically. Yeah, it's just a lot of waiting really because I've done both sides of the door now. I've primed both sides, sanded, primed. Yeah, and there isn't really anything else I can do until that dries. Now it says on the tub that you can do two coats of the primer as well and I'm just like, ugh. I don't know because we've kind of got to survive with that with bathroom door as well so it's just a little bit it's just a little bit annoying not having it but that's fine it won't be too many days thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video <laughs> bye